Hello friends, today we are going to learn about what is genetic constitutional seminimum. When a homeopath hear this term for the first time, the instant reaction would be that this is another fancy term being invented by another homeopath with an invention to just impress or confuse the younger homeopath. These homeopaths are already reeling under the onslaught of new term being coined by the so-called leading homeopaths of the world, day in and day out. Let us make an attempt to understand this term as to what exactly it means. When we understand this term in a detail, we realize that this is not a new concept, but rather it is already mentioned in the organon. We fail to understand it because the science of genetic was not discovered during the time of Hanuman. But he has demonstrated and explained in detail the importance of the constitutions both mental and physical at many places in the organism. So let's begin the what is genetic constitutional minimum is. So first let's understand what the term genetic constitutional similimum means. That this term has been coined by Dr. Prafur Vijaykar. What it means is that the remedy selected for the persons is the one most similar to him. Till now, homeopath used to consider constitution as only to be either mental or physical or as per their inclinations and liking. Those who were inclined more toward mental makeup would only consider mental makeup of a person and ignore the physical makeup. Vice versa is true for people who are more inclined toward physical makeup and they tend to ignore the mental makeup or the temperament of the patient. Homeopaths tend to be extremists and have an inclination either totality towards physicals or only towards mentals. This dilemma was also faced by many senior homeopaths and stalwarts since the days when homeopathy was discovered. The solution to this problem has been given to us by Dr. Prafur Vijaykar with the help of modern allied science such as genetics. So, the dictionary meaning of the word constitution is the physical makeup of an individual, the structure, compositions or makeup of something. The word constitutional means relating to the constitutions of the body or a mind. So the meaning of the word constitutional similimum means the most similar remedy to the physical or mental structure, compositions and makeup of an individual. So genes and constitutions. So every human being and every cell has set of genes. These genes express themselves in the form of two different kinds of protein. These are structural proteins and humoral proteins. The structural protein give rise to the physical structure and the humoral protein give rise to the basic nature the emotions and the behavior of the person. Out of total amount of the protein expressed by the genes, about one-fifth of the protein in every individual differ from the other individual. This one-fifth of the protein makes that individual different from the other individual even though all the human beings are made in the same manner. Having same physical structure means everybody has two eyes, two arms and two legs etc. Every individual nature, his reaction to stimulus, his emotions will differ from the other persons and it is this that makes him unique and different from others. This imply demonstrated by the latest branch of modern science called proteomics. This understanding of the human being of how he is constructed and how he differ from other individual is proved recently by the genome project which says that every individual will now require a different and tailor-made medicine for him. 
So Master Samuel Hahnemann says same thing in aphorism number 5 is useful to the physician in assisting him to cure either particular or the most probable exciting cause of acute disease as also the most significant point in the whole history of the chronic disease to enable him to discover its fundamental cause which is generally due to chronic miasm. In these investigations, the ascertainable physical constitutions of the patients, especially when the disease is chronic, his moral and intellectual character, his occupations, mode of living and habits, his social and domestic relationships, his age, sexual function, etc. are to be taken into consider. In this, Hahnemann had talked about this in Organon, which he wrote 250 years ago and which has been proved right by modern science in this day and age. Hahnemann writes about the constitutions in aphorism number 5 and 6. He is in aphorism number 5 writes all these things. This means the genetic constitutions. How can we ascertain the G GCS in patients? For making it easy in practice, Dr. Prafur Vijayakar sir has provided the ascertaining of the constitutions under three headings. One is a mental makeup, second is a physical makeup, and third is a general makeup. Mental makeup. So mental makeup consists of will, intellect, moral, or conscience, expressive or non-expressiveness, sensitivity attachment, likes and dislike at mental level and the tolerance. So the above factor almost cover the mental aspect of the person's constitutions. To this we add something which is very characteristic of his miasm and that make it the complete mental state or the constitution. A word of caution is that when we say that the above mentioned points have to be considered what it means is the, that only the characteristic point out of this are to be taken for prescription. In all cases, we may not find all the points. For example, we may not be able to fit every person as being very expressive or non-expressive. There are some who may be normal and the quality which we try to ascertain may not be very marked. We need not to fit every patient in all the above mentioned point general makeup general makeup consists of a person's speed of the person's activity of the person's side affections stability type of pathology involved all his general such as thermal thirst sleep cravings and aversions and the eliminations like a stool urine perspirations etc. are to be considered. Physical makeup. Physical makeup consists of persons build, structure, hair, face type, height, muscle fibers and postures. A judicious and proper combination of all these factors is a complete representation of the persons. All these factors differ from individual to individual because of difference in their genetic code expressions. If all these factors are taken into consideration for a prescription, then what we are prescribed for is the genetic expressions of the persons as a whole. This is what termed as genetic constitutional simulimum. So if we want to successfully treat the so-called deep-seated incurable pathologies, then treating the patients with their GCS is absolutely must and the result is these cases will be seen according to the Herring's law of cure of directions. Otherwise, we may find ourselves limited only to be the symptom treating general practitioners who treat only the lower layer disease of the ectoderm and endoderm to serve the sick ailing humanity in a better way become a holistic prescriber or in other words a GCS prescriber. 
This way we can achieve the ultimate goal of physicians as it is mentioned in Hahnemann's organon of aphorism the high and only mission of physician is to restore the sick to health to cure as it is done. Hope you all get the basic component of what GCS is. Thank you. Thank you.